Well, we do occasionally, um... Push the envelope? Please allow me, Miss McInerney. Be careful. Don't forget to call. Got it. And uh, remember, the accelerator Oliver. is a little sensitive. Go. Shakespeare never had to thwart a drug cartel. Some are born great. Some achieve greatness, some have greatness thrust upon them. You're impossible. I, I work a lot in the field. Uh, in fact, there is a rather critical piece of mangled mail that requires personal delivery to Fort Platt. Mr. O'Toole has taught me so much about going the extra mile. You coming, Mr. O'Toole? Oh. Carry on. You really make me too much of this. She was going to take points off your precious performance evaluation because I don't have a desk. And what will Rita and Norman think now that they've seen me so brazenly manipulate? Oh, for heaven's sake. The very fabric of our existence as an effective unit has been frayed. And for what? For Samilla. Honestly, think that that man back there was actually going to read this letter? And if he did, even care what it says? What is it you always say? Putting a stamp on a letter and sending it out there into the world... ...is an act of faith. So if you want to go back in there and put your faith and Samilla's in that pile of government red tape, well, you be my guest. But as for me, I'm putting my faith in you. You can be very persuasive, Miss McInerney. Or brazenly manipulative. If you've been sensing any inconsistency in my recent behavior, it is good reason. I have been deceiving you. You've taken on a lover. <gasps> no. Why would you think that? Because that woman that you were hugging on the street last night. <laughs> You spying on me? We were concerned. You've act, you've been acting so mysteriously lately. Mysterious, or perfectly within my right to have a private life. Hmm? Okay, the second one. If you must know, I have been taking dancing lessons. That was my instructor with an update on Louise. Louise is my dance partner who has gone missing. So we're all very worried. You know what? If you need my help, I could be your dance partner. Rita, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. Rita, quite all right. Rita, that's okay. Rita, quite all right. No, no, no. Uh, Ms. McInerney, did you receive a message regarding this situation? You know, I did. And I, oh, I would be happy to be your dance partner. Oh. Good. Uh, we'll be dancing together in uh, Student Showcase on the 24th. <laughs> <clears throat> I look forward to it. Oliver O'Toole stretching the truth. The world has gone mad. Last night you weren't above spying, so I assumed it was just part of your repertoire. <sighs> Oliver, why don't you just ask one of your friends or a neighbor one of the nice ladies at your church. I don't want a nice lady. I want you. Oh. What I mean is that you and I have danced before, and you are not entirely without grace. Oh, but still my heart. I would very much appreciate it, Ms. McInerney. Okay, Oliver.
a year. If someone tells you they're leaving you and going to Paris and you never hear from them again, you think that sooner or later they'd stop checking every letter that comes through from France and admit to themselves that maybe she never sent a forwarding address. She did promise to write. Yeah, well, she promised till death do us part, too. But then she sends a letter that just happens to get lost and finds its way to the dead letter office someday. I mean, please, you can't really believe that. <laughs> Good work today, everyone. Oliver, I found a song for our dance routine. I'd like you to listen to. you agreed to fill in a, my dance showcase, did I not make it clear that actual music was involved? This is what we'll be dancing to. Honestly, Oliver, sometimes I think I was put on this earth for the express purpose of dragging you into the 21st century. It is far too late in the day to discuss Manifest Destiny, Ms. McInerney. <laughs> I'm um, sorry, this room is reserved for a private lesson with Madame Francesca. Yes, I know. You must be Avelier. Ozavir. Ozmi. Ar Oliver? Avelier! Yes, Ramon Rodriguez at your service. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, we're here for. Who is this? A stunning beauty. Please, tell me you are ashamed. Uh, okay. My pleasure. <clears throat> May I say, if you dance the way you smile. As I was saying, Mr. Rodriguez, we're here for a private class with Madame Francesca. Well, I'm afraid Fancy Francie is no longer with us. Oh, what happened to uh, Fancy Francie? Well, let's just say one should never put up one's livelihood as collateral when holding two pairs and a queen. <laughs> Are you saying she lost the studio in the poker game? Yes. Yes, she lost. But I win! So everybody wins! <laughs> now, we must work very, 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 very hard, yes? No. Of course, yes! Because we still have the biggest showcase this Friday. No? No. Yes, um, okay. Mr. Rodriguez, Oliver, I... please take our hand. Head erect, arms erect, and everything erect. Ready, Oliver? And dance. I don't know, Miss McInerney. We did our duty, we delivered the painting and the letter. If this idea of yours doesn't work, I'm afraid Mr. Barrett might be hurt again. Well, you're just gonna have to trust me on this, Oliver. And then you're gonna have to trust me again. Is this postal related? No, but we only have one more night before our dance showcase and still haven't chosen a song. Oh, we have chosen a song. We just don't like it. I have one more song to pitch, please. And it's on vinyl. <sighs> same tempo, same steps, just a different song. To heal the wounds from the 
Lunchtime, and I'd like to leave a few minutes early. If this is regarding Mr. Barrett, it doesn't fall under official postal business. Well, the business of the post office and the mission of the post office are vastly different. You of all people should know that. Vastly? Huh, well, if they're vastly different, then I stand corrected. Wow, it's a red letter day. Oliver O'Toole stood corrected. You should mark it in your calendar. No need for sarcasm. Ms. McInerney, you've made your point. Not yet. Easy to forget, Oliver. Well, uh, perhaps not after my next apology. I've given it a great deal of thought, and I think it would be best if we didn't dance together at the showcase tonight. What? Why? Well, there's really no reason to continue now. And I've accomplished what I set out to do. I'm sorry, accomplished what? I only ever intended to take a few lessons. You see, uh, my wife surprised me a few years ago with a gift certificate for 10 lessons. And I believe it was my reluctance to take those classes that contributed to her overall uh, dissatisfaction. You see, so in the event that she should tire of Paris, then return to Denver, then you'll be ready to dance with her. Yes. I hope so. Thank you for understanding. You are a wonderful partner. Sure. Oh. 
Oliver. We were good together, weren't we? We were. <laughs> and this is why my eyes are closed It's just as well for all I've seen And so it goes And so it goes 